What is up you guys, this is All Day Any Day 1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And with this video I'm going to be talking about how to max out your honor and how to max out your dishonor. And the way I went about it is when I first started, I went with dishonor because dishonor was really easy to max out. And then I decided to go max out honor after I maxed out my dishonor. And honor was a lot harder, so I would highly recommend maxing out honor first and then max out dishonor. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick my progress bar that I have both of them maxed out and it's going to be under general. So right here my dishonor is maxed out and then my honor is also maxed out and it really didn't take too long. Unfortunately you can't um, reset these to get um, gold nuggets or anything but it's it's cool still. But yeah like I said it didn't really take too long to max them out. It took maybe I would say in total maybe 10 hours to max out dishonor and then or not for to max out just dishonor but 10 hours in total to max out dishonor and honor in total but the way i would go about it for any new players is max out honor first because you're gonna have you're gonna start in the middle of the bar of at the gray area of the middle of the bar on the bottom you're gonna start in the middle so what you're going to want to do is when you start doing missions, your story missions, which is going to be under progress and it's going to be story mission, these first three missions right here are going to give you the decision with other members, other group members. So you might want to have a mic or let them know, or if you're running with friends or whoever, let them know you're going to choose the honor um, the honor option. And it'll be pretty, pretty um, self-explanatory with the options it won't tell you which one's honorable and which one's dishonorable but the options are pretty 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 uh clear because one would be like you can kill the person or you can free the person honorable would be freeing them dishonorable would be um not freeing them and letting them die so you'll have those three to do and then you're gonna have the next few missions is going to depend on what your status is, whether you're honorable or dishonorable. Now, with the other way that you can do is you can actually go around fishing, and when you fish, if you throw the fish back, I don't know, I don't think it's every single time you do this, but it happens sometimes for me. And then when you go hunting as well, when you hunt birds, I feel like it's only the birds, maybe the, the deer as well. But mainly I've seen it from when I'm hunting birds. Like I said, it's not all the time, but um, I don't know if it's time based or anything. But when I do hunt birds, I do also get my honor built up as well. And then obviously you're going to have the series as well on the map. You're going to have the series events um, or from the strangers. Some of them will be honorable. Some of them will be dishonorable ones. And then the other option is obviously the gold bar one you're going to go to old man james and then you can use your gold bars to use to get honorable or dishonorable built up but like i said i would only use it once i only i did use it once when i was dishonorable though so we're going to i'm going to go ahead and talk about how to build up your dishonor dishonor is really easy for me i thought it was the easiest thing to do in the world um it actually took a lot less than 10 hours or it took maybe like three hours or four hours about three to four hours to actually build up my dishonor to max what i did was i went to i believe i went to blackwater no i actually went to what is it called armadillo so i was at armadillo and i went inside one of the buildings i don't remember exactly which one but there's only one way in the building and what I did was I killed everyone here and then a bunch of the law just came by and they were, I just used my shotgun and anytime they came in the building I'd kill them, it would build up my dishonor. And then you can also do the story mode as well and with the story mode you would just choose dishonor and also doing the dishonorable storyline will also build up your dishonor. So doing that over and over and over is going to build up your dishonor. Killing players is also going to build up dishonor, but just killing NPCs is going to be fine as well. Um, you also don't need to go down to Armadillo. You can actually just, you can really go anywhere as long as you have somewhere safe, like a safe spot to go to. If you have a safe spot to go to, I believe I was actually at, for the second part, or the second time I was doing it around, um, I wasn't at St. Dennis. I think I was at Blackwater. I'm pretty sure I was at Blackwater. 
yeah, I was at Blackwater, and I was on top of the roof. And the the law, they were climbing up the ladder. Every time they climb up the ladder, I would just shoot them. And what's also nice about this, about doing it this way, is anytime you kill the law, you can just loot them and then get the money, get ammo, get random items from them, and you'll be able to just stock up on it and either keep it, because a lot of it's tonics, a lot of it might be like silver watches or whatever, but yeah, that's honestly the two different ways of building your honor up and dishonor. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little quick recap. So with honor, you can do your stranger missions, the honorable stranger missions, hunting and fishing, and then you also have your storyline missions. Those are, in my opinion, the the main, the best ways of building up your honor. Oh, and don't forget to make sure you take your horse in. Take your horse into the stable and then give it a, the, I forgot how, what it is, but it's in the horse upgrades, I believe. And then it's going to be the third one that costs like $7.50. You're going to do that. It's going to give your horse a boost to their health and their stamina. You do that, you're going to get honor built up from that as well so make sure you just do that time to time whenever your horse doesn't have the yellow bar on their health or their stamina bar so that's for the honor now for dishonor recap like i said it's going to be just going around murdering play, uh, npcs in the city and then um also doing the series or i guess stranger missions the dishonorable stranger missions you can also um what is called intervene with players doing their missions but for me i never actually did that because i don't i don't like having to i don't i don't like being an asshole so i didn't really bother doing that but i know if you are the type of person who doesn't mind it who doesn't mind being an asshole or anything you can do that but it's you're not going to get a lot of dishonor it's just basically like doing another stranger mission is what i'm i'm assuming you're you're going to end up getting but um yeah that's honestly it with the with this video. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section. I know that there was no gameplay. I was just talking, explaining on how it works. But that's, you know, it is what it is. But um, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. This is all day any day one on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and peace.